Welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play V3, and it's silent, as you can tell in the corner where there's no music Let's Playing. We just got out of a uh, fun bug meet and greet, which, bless Gonta for being such a cute little sweetie. Although this was fucking hilarious. After leaving the room, I could hear, still hear muffled buzzing and Cookie G screaming. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Got what he deserved. I'm sorry. We might be corpses by tomorrow morning. Don't joke about that. What if it happens? It's just plain possible. How do we return these cub pads back to their rightful owners? Um, if the mono cubs were here, I'm sure they'd help us. Why isn't Shine a resign? Oh, okay, one of them. Oh, it's just you? The others are asleep. If you need something, I can help you. Um, it's about the cubs' pads. Kokichi brought them to us, and... I simply need to return them. I will return each of you to your respective rooms. You bastards. <laughs> um... <laughs> he left. Oh, that was abrupt, and I'm sorry. I didn't turn my sound off again. My bad. But out of all of them, we can probably trust that one, right? Shall we go back to our dorms? It's past. It's well past nighttime. <laughs> That's so true. We have the magic show tomorrow. Because of all this, we couldn't do a rehearsal, but I'm sure it'll be a divine show. <laughs> we'll be waiting for you to come watch. We'll be waiting, she said. It's Himiko. It's Himiko's show, not yours. I suppose it's all right. Uh-oh, someone's getting jelly. Just remembered. I wasn't able to train with Kaito today. Not too bad. We can do it tomorrow night, though. It's not like I'll never see him again or anything. Don't say that! Kaito's gonna be the next to die, isn't he? We wore ourselves out for the commotion. We dragged ourselves back to... We dragged ourselves back to our rooms. Oh, boy. I can only imagine that that thing is going to give the monopads back to the right people. It's going to happen, isn't it? I, I just don't have a good feeling. It's close to midnight now. Tomorrow's a busy day. I should get some sleep. I collapsed onto the bed and quickly fell asleep. <laughs> okay, what do we got this time? I don't know this one. Oh man, already you lost. I need a miracle. You pray, right? When you're working, living, and gambling. But miracles happen every day. For example, do you know what the odds of the earth existing are? The same as a tornado blowing through a junkyard and assembling a working car. That's a miracle. That's why us being alive on earth is a miracle. All kinds of miracles happen every day. Life is made up of little miracles. But whenever a miracle does happen, it does get chalked up as fate or destiny or whatever. Be grateful of the miracles that have already happened instead of hoping for new ones. If you do that, you should be able to enjoy miracles, right? Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I don't believe that. All right, ding dong, ding dong. Good morning, boys and girls. What do we got going on today? Hm. Oop, we're missing one. Rising Shiner is sign. <laughs> oh, there he is. It's an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's 8 a.m., so wake up. Oh, he left. Monosuke is so impatient. Oh, pff, wow. He got very girly. He's been cranky lately, so it's making him impatient. I don't like impatient men. I want to get along with Monosuke. It's a little early, so I'll get ahead and do the morning announcement, to night announcement too. It'll be 10 p.m. later. It's too early. Your impatience is trying to warp time and space. So long, farewell. Oh boy, oh boy. Today's the day of Himiko's magic show. But the insect fiasco yesterday and now this? Do we really have time to be doing this stuff? Well, I suppose I shouldn't think about it so much. I'll just go to the gym for now. Okay. I'm surprised nobody's died yet. This all feels really surreal. Alright, nobody's here. Oh, there's a monitor. Sorry. <laughs> Not what I meant to do, but okay. <laughs> Alright, who's out here? Oh, nobody. Oh, except for Sue Moogie. Hi, baby. I cannot. <laughs> it's like, you gotta go? You wanna go, friend? No. <laughs> I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> Good 
Good morning, Samugi. Good morning. Are you okay? You look a bit sick. Yeah, just the sound of those bugs buzzing is still in my head. Even after I went to bed, I just kept hearing it, so I didn't get that much sleep. Ah, uh, it must have been rough. Gonto would be sad to hear it, but I like bugs even less now. I'm glad there aren't any bugs outside Gonta's lab. Oh wait, are there? Well, Gonta did say he saw a really tiny bug once. Oh yeah, he did say that. But even with Gonta's 20 points, 20 points, 625 vision, he could only barely see, right? So it's possible he just plain, he's just plain mistaken? No, actually, I really hope he was mistaken. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm so over bugs. I just want to go forget last night and enjoy the magic show. Yeah. The show's in the gym, right? I'm gonna go on ahead. All right. If anything, there will be some very interesting things happening today. I just feel it. I have no good feelings right now, ever. <gasps> Hi, Key Baby. What's up? Ah, Kibo. Good morning. Good morning, Shuichi. How are you feeling today? Are you still sore from the events of last night? I'm fine. Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. I've recharged the electricity that I used on my recording function. Even so, I'm very happy I was finally able to use my function to help everyone. Kibo's recording function is not exactly revolutionary technology, but it did help a lot. Yes, thank you, Kibo. You really earned your title of Ultimate Robot. Oh, it was nothing, really. If you ever need my help for anything, please don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> yeah, I sure will. So the magic show's starting soon, yes? Everyone's probably gathered in the gym already. We should go as well. Mmm. I love him. I love him so much. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm... Wow. <laughs> Hello, missing door. What's up, friend? All right. I know I don't need to check anything. Ooh, I leveled up again. I am level. <laughs> wow, depth perception. Can you work with me for a minute here? Hmm, okay. Well, it's been getting quite interesting lately. Hmm. Am I allowed in the magic room real quick just for the fun of it? <laughs> probably not. It's probably locked. I just just Oh, okay, never mind. I was just curious. I'm like, what's going on in the gym? Or, what's going on in the magic room? What kind of stuff did they take out for the magic show? I'm curious. I want to know what's going on. <gasps> oh, hello, Kirumi. Ah, Kirumi. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone's already gathered for the show. Is that right? I suppose everyone's looking forward to it. Me seem particularly excited. Her, her eyes were lit up like a child's. She's not excited, huh? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited, too. By the way, would it be... Would it be... It would seem that some outrageous events transpired last night. Yeah, Kokichi tricked Gonta into moving along with his motive video screening plan. But thanks to Kibo, we put a stop to it. It's okay. Oh, I see. So Kokichi truly does intend to oppose us. No matter. Let's go inside. Everyone's waiting. Ho hum, ho hum. I cannot imagine anything well going out of this. Even then, I still like him a little bit. Or, mostly. Oh, hey. Hmm. Whoa, this is even nicer than I thought it'd be. <laughs> Welcome to our magic show! What do you think? Isn't it divine? Yeah, it is. I didn't think you'd have a real stage shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Did you and Himiko do all this? <laughs> no, no, that would have been impossible with just two of us. I got others to help to help us. Kaito and Kibo helped carry the lab equipment from the re from Himiko's research lab. I designed the stage, but Kirumi sewed the curtains. Everyone's so nice. A two deserves all the credit. Uh, shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit? <laughs> uh, oh well, I didn't ask your help because I didn't think you'd be know what you'd be useful for. Did you really have to say that? <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, anyway, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Done preparing? You're not ready yet? The stars of the show needs to settle her nerves. Star of the show requires mental preparations. <laughs> She's shaking like a leaf. Oh no. 
making me go so nervous. Hmm. So Kokichi and Ryoma didn't show up. Oh. Well, that sucks. God, I'm not sorry. So sorry about yesterday. God, I not know why he act like that. God, to too forceful. Still have a long way before God to call himself true gentleman. It's not your fault. It's Kokichi's fault for tricking you. Even so, I think you need to seriously reflect on what you did. Your gullible mind will eventually lead you down the wrong path in life. Got to be more careful next time. Oh, sweetie. Sweetie, you're fine. You're fine, baby. It's okay. Uh, so what happened to Kokichi? After insect meet and greet, Kokichi's mouth started to bubble, then he... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was good. <laughs> oh, I see. He might not make it to the show then. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm sorry, but he did deserve it. <laughs> way bigger than I thought. I imagine a plain everyday stage. I guess all the thoughts in my plain old head are just plain, plain. Oh, psh, you're fine. <laughs> what is this device? I've never seen something like this before. Oh, I'm getting excited. I'm really, really excited. Pfft, don't cream your pants, sweetie. Alright, Angie. Tango, you're trembling. I told you many times that Atua loves all his creations. What do you mean, all his creations? That's way too much love. What about Monokuma, huh? Does Atua love him too? Of course, we must love Monokuma for that, for, so that our love will reach him. Shut up already! Robots can't feel love. They can't feel any emotion at all. And yet, I feel a strange pain in my chest after you said that. <laughs> you know, I've been having weird pains in my joints and my lower body. Isn't that a simple a symptom of gout? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> this is quite a professional looking stage. However, considering how unsettled Himiko is, we may not get to witness our, for ourselves the skills of the ultimate magician. How unfortunate. I feel like I just saw him twitch, but I might be as tired as fuck right now. We managed to complete the preparations in time. I hope everyone enjoys the show. You have out too, Kirumi? Oh, did you do the sewing? You complete every task you're given, don't you? No wonder you're the ultimate maid. But right now you're just an audience member like everyone else, so let's enjoy the show. Yes, I shall do just that. Mm, Kirumi is best mom. Lucky Tenko too. But by the way, can I ask you something, Angie? Um, when you're alone with Himiko, what do you guys talk about? Uh, just normal things. Food, sweets, our nails, how it is bath water, we to get it to his bath water at a discounted rate. That last one's not normal at all. Angie can be quite the handful. I wonder if Himiko if, if Himiko can handle her. I think I keep saying Himiko. I, I never know which it is though. And Kureyo. Those fish in the tank above, are those truly is it alright to use something so dangerous? I know, right? L let's look, shall we? Suspended water tank. Water tank? Looks like there are fish inside. It's part of the trick, too? What kind of fish are those? I don't even know. Curtain. There's a huge curtain hanging here. What kind of magic trick is this for? Hmm. Alright, well. Oh. Whoop. I forgot I can slap things. Oh, there's a ladder. There's a ladder here. I wonder if this is used to set up the show. Hmm. Can I slap things? Am I allowed to slap things? Oh, nothing to slap in here. Nothing to slap in here? Ah! How much money do I... I don't even know how much money I have. Hang on a second. Can I even check that? How do I check my monies? Okay, never mind. Fuck it. Oh. Oh, 338. Okay. That's not a lot. Alright, let's talk to Himiko and get the show started. Himiko, are you a bit nervous? Just a little bit. It certainly doesn't look like just a little bit. Because 
The magic I'm performing today is an extreme water magic. Underwater escape act. I've never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. You've never cast it before? And today, in order to raise the stakes, there's a time limit. If I don't escape from the tank within the time limit, piranha? Piranhas? Those didn't look like piranhas to me. Piranhas will be dropped in. Oh boy. I'll be pureed. Pureed? This is a little dangerous. The water's cloudy, so I can I can't see clearly, but I do see fish swimming around. Those are piran all piranhas, huh? They don't look yeah, I was about to say they don't look like normal piranhas. <laughs> Those piranhas were in my research lab. Angie said we should use them for the show. Wait, piranhas are way too dangerous. Tenko. Hiniko, please reconsider! They're piranhas! They're nothing like they're nothing like lasagna! No need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. You're gonna kill them. I thought this was an escape trick. Himiko, are you serious? Oh, there's no way I can stop now since Atua's watching the show and all. There's no such thing as Atua. He just brainwashed you. You don't believe in my magic? Well, I can do it. I am a skilled young girl, cause I'm a mage. She psyched herself up and headed straight to the water to- oh no. Oh, I feel so bad for Tenko right now. I mean, she's kind of creepy, but she gives a shit, you know? Of course, I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend. Oh, jeez. Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? Uh, I said my prayers and went pee. <laughs> well, let's get the show started. Oh, boy. It's starting already, but not everyone's here yet. Maki, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaito aren't here. What happened to Kaito? I thought he'd be here for sure. I wonder if something happened. Oh no. See, I knew it. I feel like Kaito's gonna be the next victim. That that will make me cry or ever because I liked him so much. Oh gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Atua, for being here today. Boo, boo, you're supposed to think us first. Yeah. <laughs> I present to you the mysterious and ama the miraculous he amazing Himiko. <laughs> Uh, the, the magic I will perform today is ex the extreme water magic. Uh, underwater escape act. If you please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you. When the timer above the stage starts, Himiko will enter the water tank. When she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. After 60 seconds of pass on the timer... A separate, suspended water ta tank will open and drop the school of piranhas. Oh my goodness! After the piranhas have fallen, the curtain it will open. And if by some miracle Himiko is gobbed up, please give a big round of applause. The fuck? <laughs> okay, Angie, I love you and all, but god fuck, that's bad. Don't do this. <laughs> Just kidding, it's a joke. Oh my gosh, I think Himiko's gonna trust Angie less. I'm concerned about Himiko. She's not responding properly to Angie's jokes. Gone to worry. Gone to a bad feeling. Uh, Atua, please protect Himi- oh, Wait, what am I doing praying to Atua? That's Angie's shtick. Well, I guess you could pray to some other god. There are many of them. You probably could pray to one of them. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, well then, let's begin. The amazing Himiko's magic show. In her typical high-pitched voice, Himiko made her announcement and started the timer. She took a breath and dove into the water tank. 
Oh my gosh. Splash. <laughs> okay, I'm closing the curtain. Angie closed the curtain, obscuring the water tank from view. We silently watched. Oh, I'll be sad if, if Himiko died. Punched my fist, palms dripping with sweat. Himiko is still not out. She went in mere moments ago. <sighs> well, do you think she's alright? Uh, Ganta's starting to worry. Should we do something? She still hasn't come out. Are you sure she's okay? Gonta can't take it anymore. Gonta cried and he leaped out of his seat and... Wait, Gonta? Ran up onto the stage. Oh, you can't do that. We're in the middle of the show. But, but if Gonta does not th do nothing, Himiko will be eaten by piranhas. Huh? Um, less than ten seconds remaining. I don't care if it ruins the trick. Just come out. This dress breaks for, it's bad for my heart. Himiko! Right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer... Oh my god, death? <laughs> and then... The bottom of the suspended water tank opened and the murky water and the shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the water Himiko was swimming in. Oh my god. Huh? huh? Oh look, the piranhas! I'm scared. What the fuck? Hurry! The curtains! Open the curtains already! God, I'm opening it now! And Angie pulled apart the curtains. We witnessed an unbelievable... Oh, no. Oh. What? No! No! Oh, my God! How is she? Oh, fuck! Oh, no, 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 no. Look, oh my. I'm so sick right now. How and why? Why? What? It took us a few moments for us to even process it. But then again, perhaps we were... What the hell happened? Why was he in there? Perhaps he didn't want to acknowledge it. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, my God. Oh, buddy. 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 No. No. Oh, my God. Why am I so nauseous right now? That was bad. Uh, behold, the magnificent underwater is... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Uh, oh God, I don't think I can handle this anymore. The body has been discovered. Everyone, please. We are already at the gym! A, a body in the gym? Amiko turned her back to the back at the look to look back at the water tank. Oh no. Why? Why did Hoshi die? Darling! Where are all my Prince of Tennis references gonna come from now? Huh? Oh my god. I'm so nauseous right now by this. This is not cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, Ryoma. Oh, man. Why? Why? Second time at the Ultimate Academy, a body discovery announcement sounded out. Oh my god. Those who weren't present at the magic show heard it and came running. Oh my god, my stomach. Where's everybody else? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> we should break the tank, right? We gotta check what's inside. Break it? Yeah, break it. Takes too long to drain by hand. What were we using used to break? Kanta, Keyboy, you're up. Huh, what do you mean we're up? Kanta, throw Keyboy as hard as you can. Use that robot like a battering ram. Who are you calling a battering ram? Want to throw Kibo? Got it. Ah, oh, hell too. No, wait, wait, just a second. You don't need to team up now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, why did you throw the baby? <laughs> oh my gosh. That was intense. A wall of piranhas and the water dyed red with blood rushed out. We watched helplessly as the area flooded the f with water. 
After some deliberation, we decided to start cleaning everything up. However, I made sure not to disturb the scene any more than necessary. With Kimirumi's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start investigating. I am so sick right now. I'm sick to my stomach. I've gathered Ryoma's body and belongings in one place. <sighs> Kibo looked depressed. He was just used as a battering ram, so I understand why. He's been reduced so that he can be carried in one hand. How fleeting and fragile life is. Gonta put piranhas in bucket. Piranhas got big tummies. Gonta think they're full. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, that 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 just that makes me nauseous. Today, Ryoma's fish food, and tomorrow he'll be fish shit. D don't say such that. Yeah, seriously, I'm not okay with this at all. Mm. Yumiko, are you okay? This wasn't an accident, was it? Does this mean the killing game has started again? How? How could this have happened? We swore to each other, didn't we? We swore we'd never let the killing game start up again. This was all a lie. You guys are liars. All of you liars apologize to Ryoma. He believed the killing game wouldn't happen anymore. You disin your disingenuous tears mark you as the liar right now. Oh, you figured it out? You got a pretty good eye there, Kyo. Oh, fuck off. Call Monokuma, fuck off. Hey, guys, how's it feel now that you know second murder victim on your hands? <laughs> Ryoma's transparent. He has my ex- Has my X-ray vision powers finally awakened. Fuck you. Eyes and shine are a sign. Oh, the anger is unbelievably potent right now. Father, you don't have superpowers. He's just been reduced to a skeleton. <laughs> finally, I've been waiting for the killing game to start up again. That means you can put this boring crap on hold and start playing the blame game. You're raring to go, Mono- Who are you again? Monosuke, you should at least remember your own kid's name. Hmm. Uh, Monophony, are you okay? Five, four. Hmm? Are you counting down, Monophony? Why are you counting? Because three, I'm gonna, two, I'm gonna, pew, one, now. I'm sorry. I don't know why it's so fun to make that noise, though. Oh, she puked again. What the hell are you doing, you failure? Listen up, we're here to make sure this killing goes smoothly, capiche? Also, to keep me company, new mascots present a lot of exciting business opportunity. Shut up, you failure! What? Me too? Hey. Uh, hey, hey! This conversation is fun and all, but we should really get this over with. Do we need to start investigating or something? <laughs> All right, I got the culprit this time for sure. Hurry up and give us the thingy. You mean the Monokuma file, right? Also investigating the death of this time will... So, uh, I also investigated the death this time, so read to your heart's content. Delight, whatever. Oh, sort of unrelated, but I got a great business idea. Yeah, that's totally unrelated. Let's use the Monokuma file to fight a stark funeral, ser funeral services business. You know, how to get... How it gets a bit awkward at a first fun at a funeral when you start asking about the cause of death. If we pass out Monokuma files at the uh, uh, even the worst deaths, we'll get a giggle out of the intendi- Wow! Am I the only one that feels like that is, like, really, really inappropriate in general? Well, Box, what do you think? You're so freaking cute. Hmm? Cute. The way you pass out files is so cute. Why don't you come here and come over with me here? Come over with me over here. It pops. It's gonna lick me all over. Oh gosh. Huh? Father showering Monosuke with love, with, with all his love. You think maybe Monosuke's right? Maybe Father doesn't like us anymore because we're not hostile and threatening enough. <laughs> maybe I'll follow Monosuke. <laughs> So long, farewell. Oh, this game is ridiculous. In any event, let us begin the investigation. Investigation? Is this is really gonna start again? I can't believe it. One of us killed Ryoma. Someone among us. I, no more. 
Gonta want no more want no one to investigate friends. No one to suspect friends. Then don't do it. I'm not going to investigate either. Huh? You'll be fine if you're short a person. I doubt a catch child caregiver will help much. Wow, what's going on with Maki? Like I don't know. Wait, Maki? I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and kept walking. Oh she the fuck is that bitch's problem? She's seriously not gonna investigate? Seems rather irresponsible. She likely assumes someone else will take care of it, and I suppose she isn't wrong. But why would she say that now? She participated in Rontaro's investigation. Although I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. I've been told she spends all day in her lab. What is she doing in there? Well, I'll have a talk with Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. But I'm seriously pissed. We can only do this. We all, we got to do this. But it is our only chance to survive. <laughs> yep, I'll do my very best too. <laughs> Gaunt and I have, worked to work, have to work especially hard so we can regain everyone's trust. Oh yes, you're right. <laughs> but we don't need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. What? They're going to say it's Himiko or Anji, isn't it? Ryoma, the Ryoma was murdered by a certain little magical girl show, right? Um, uh, so I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. Uh, um, but she's so suspicious, it seems not suspicious. Uh, but then again, she made herself look suspicious, so now she's super suspicious. Sh sh shut up already! How dare you toy with Himiko's pure heart! You just said Himiko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. Uh, shut up! Shut up! Himiko would never do something like that. I know her best, right, Himiko? No. Is that part of where you agree? That's the part where you agree with me. Himiko, can you at least tell us the trick behind the underwater escape act? If we know how the trick works, we can try to figure out who the who how the culprit killed. That's not possible. Not possible. Why? Because she did it with magic. There's no trick to the underwater escape because it was my magic. <laughs> How long is that donkey love midget going to keep saying that? Miko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's plain to see we need your help. Uh, my answer won't change no matter what you say. There's no trick to my magic because it's magic. I'm not going to keep the bullshit up. If we don't catch the culprit, we're... That's enough. If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic. Ugh. I'm using my Neo Aikido no blurry any degenerate males who bully Himiko. I'm not bullying her. Uh, it's her fault if she's being so stubborn. Oh, well, it's fine. I don't want to... If you don't want to tell us, I'll just find out myself. Actually, that sounds pretty fun. Solve this mystery. We must be able to learn the trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We have no choice in the matter. Oh my gosh. He's right. We have no choice. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Ryoma. To investigate this is to save all of our lives because risks were, we're risking our lives in the class trial. Oh, the nausea. <coughs> By the way, I never mentioned, but now I really am starting to hate this game. <laughs> all right. We'll investigate in the next episode then. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. I do videos like this every other day. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.